Hello everyone, welcome back to Sentin Moments channel. I'm Jolima, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all safe. And with fall right around the corner, I'm already wearing my signature shirt for the fall season. And it's also time to talk about my top 10 best fall fragrances of this year. And like usual, I will talk about my top 5 designers and top 5 niche. And this year I have an honorable mention for the niche side of things. So without further ado, let's talk about these fantastic scents. Coming in the number five spot in the designer side of things from the house of Mugler, the fragrance is Pure One. This one right here. I really love the presentation, the bottle presentation of Mugler. And quite honestly, I don't have any problem with the cap. I never had any problem spraying this fragrance. I mean, beautiful. Wow, so good. So, so good. This is so good, guys. This is sweet cherry tobacco. Doesn't need that introduction. If you are following this channel for a while, you all know how much I love this. This is a staple in my full rotation. Uh, I think out of all fragrances, this is the only one that always been in my full list. <laughs> uh, I love this. This was my first Mugler fragrance. And this is so addictive. It's sweet. It has like a boozy nuance in here, although boozy, a boozy accord, it's not listed as an official accord. You have this cherry impression, tobacco, honey, patchouli. I love this. This is my staple for the fall time. Number five spot, just because it's getting harder to get in the online discounters and also in perfume stores. Uh, I don't know if this is being discontinued or it's just a stock problem, but nonetheless, this is still a fantastic scent, perfect for the fall time, Pure Van from Mugler. In the number four spot, it's a fragrance from House of Givenchy, and it is Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum. This one right here. I love this fragrance, but this was not love at first sniff, actually. Because when I first tried this fragrance, uh, which was like a couple of years ago, when this was first released, I was not very impressed because back then you had uh, Valentino Homme Intense, Dior Homme Intense, Prado Homme Intense. I mean, you already have some fragrances that goes in the same genre, that has shares the same character, uh, or at least has a similar character. But this one, it's different enough. This one, it's not very... Uh, strong in the iris. The iris here it's not very prominent. It's more about patchouli, it's more about balsams, it's more about, uh, it's more about the vanilla. And this, unlike Valentino Home Intense, I think this is a bit more formal, more rounded, a bit more elegant than Valentino Home Intense. Man, I love this. Perfect for the fall season is Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum. In the number three spot, I have a fragrance here from House of Davidoff. And this is so good and so affordable. It is Zeno. This one right here. I love this. And this is so cheap. I mean, 20 euros for a 125 ml bottle size, like this. It's mature. It's a bit old school, but in the best way possible. Still modern, still wearable to this day. Heavy on the patchouli, it's quite earthy, chocolatey, even smoky, has some incense feel in here. Also has a barbershop nuance in the opening. Man, it's perfect for the fall season and great performance, actually. Uh, this will last you through the entire day. Great sillage also. I mean, I'm so impressed with the quality and the performance of this fragrance and so affordable. Perfect for the fall season. Davidoff. Zeno. In the number two spot, it's a fragrance from the house of Cartier, and I think you all know what fragrance is. This could be easily number one, but number one, it's incredibly affordable. Uh, so, from Cartier, Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Love the bottle presentation, love the cap, gorgeous presentation, love the color of the liquid. <laughs> fragrance is fantastic. This has that Pasha Eau de Toilette, the original character, 
with the barbershop it's very heavy in the lavender right in the opening but it has a heavy oriental facet it has a lot of amber sweet sticky not overly sweet it has like a boozy honeyed feel that actually it's not listed as an official note but I get that impression in here so sophisticated so addictive so good and the performance it's fantastic um, the projection is quite nice although it creates a nice sillage doesn't fill a room but leaves a nice central around you and the longevity it's really nice after all this is a parfum concentration so longevity it's no problem perfect for the fall season is Pasha de Cartier Parfum hands down the best release of this year now in the number one spot no surprise here from the house of Rocha it is Moustache or the Parfum. I recently did a review of this fantastic fragrance. Gorgeous presentation, very heavy, thick glass, heavy cap, and clicks into place. This fragrance is often compared with Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. I don't recall how that fragrance smells like, but I can say this is fantastic. Mandarin orange right in the opening, but it's very heavy in the benzoin and vanilla. Then you have a touch of this silky rose petals, cedarwood, but definitely the main character of this fragrance is vanilla and benzoin. Mature, masculine, elegant, formal, and perfect also for date night scenarios. I think this is a star of the fall season. Rocha, moustache, eau de parfum is fantastic. My number one spot in, the, in this list. Now let's talk about niche fragrances and I have an honorable mention like I told you and the honorable mention that I have here it's from the house of Comporta Perfumes which is a Portuguese niche brand actually and I already talked about them briefly in a video and this one is perfect for the fall season it is Muda this one right here uh, created by Luca Maffei this is a stunning rose scent with a boozy nuance it's a sweet borderline jammy rose but at the same time very smooth and silky have patchouli have vanilla have myrrh in here this is perfect for date night scenarios it's very cozy it's perfect for the fall season um, I could easily um, include this in my top five niche fragrances but well I have other ones that are equally good equally amazing but I wanted still to give a shout out to this fragrance because definitely deserves much more attention and I love the bottle presentation here although it's very similar with Rocha uh, bottle but still I love this presentation so Muda is my honorable mention so coming in the number five spot it's a fragrance from House of Baruti and it is shy this one right here this is perfect for fall I think this is the fragrance that perfectly captivates fall season incredibly spicy you have cardamom you have ginger you have cinnamon and then you have milk you have black tea you have vanilla I mean this is a tea based scent with a lot of spices it's warm it's cozy slightly sweet so unique and so long last i mean the performance of this fragrance is incredible i love this fragrance one of my favorite tea based scents one of my favorite spicy scents baruti chai in a number five spot and actually it's one of my girlfriend's favorites as of late number four spots it's the best vanilla in the game. Number four spot just because it's very expensive and you can't find it in the online discounters, or at least it's very hard. Created by Francis Kurcha, it's from the house of Indult. The fragrance is Tiota. Tiota is by far the best vanilla in the game, in my opinion, of course. This is all about vanilla. This has like a fresh cooked um, vanilla cupcake 
a freshly baked vanilla cupcake. Man, it's so good, delicious. The performance, it's incredible. Great sillage, will last you through the entire day. And it's all about vanilla. This is so delicious. If you love gourmand, if you are searching for a vanilla scent, this is the one to go. And I think vanilla works perfectly in the fall season. Also in the winter time, of course, but mostly during the fall. And this is so cozy, warm, addictive. Perfect for Netflix and chill moments. Perfect for date scenarios, of course. I love this. It's a masterpiece. Tiota from Indult. It's 180 euros for a 50 ml bottle size like this. So that's why it's just number four spots. But still, it's a masterpiece. Tiota by Indult. In the number three spot, it's a fragrance from the house of Carne Barcelona. And it is Bota Fumero. This one right here. This is another Parfum concentration and I love the bottle presentation. This is a pure wooden heavy cap actually. And this screams full. Man. Oh, man, this is so good. This has Tyrex. It's very resinous, balsamic very nutty it's not very heavy usually these fragrances these type of fragrances are more heavy this one it's not as heavy um, as you would expect this has tyrex has cystus it has incense but also has a nutty quality it's also fresh it has a freshness in the opening it has some citruses right on the top but this is definitely smoky, incense resinous, a bit sweet, nutty. And at the same time, it's quite dry. This is fantastic. Screams fall. I mean, if you look at the, this bottle presentation and the color of the liquid is literally how this fragrance smells like. Perfect for the fall. Very wearable. And again, cozy. And it's unique. That's why I love Carne Barcelona they make unique and yet wearable fragrances. This Grim's Fall, I love this. One of the best resinous fragrances, one of the best balsamic fragrances that I have is Bota Fumero by Carne Barcelona in the number three spot. Now coming in the number two spot, it's a fragrance from the house of Parfum d'Empire. And it's so sad that now they just sell 50 ml bottle sizes, not 100 ml like I have here. The fragrance is Ambre Rousse. Ambre Rousse is one of the best amber fragrances out there. This is so good. <laughs> this is breathtakingly amazing. Damn, it's boozy, sparkly. You have champagne and vodka right in the opening have some dried fruits, very ambery, of course, have ambergris in here. Wow, this is fantastic. Man, I love this. It, this was love at first sniff. This was my first fragrance from Parfum Empire, actually. And again, this is a 100 ml bottle size, but sadly, they are now just selling 50 ml, and the 50 ml goes for 108 euros, a 100 ml bottle size like this would run you for 130 so it was a fantastic bang for your buck i don't know why they changed it but well it is what it is i still love this perfect for the fall season fall is perfect for boozy ambery scents and this is one of the best in its genre love this one very formal and still very addictive still cozy warm. I love this. Ambre Rousse from Parfum d'Empire. Also great longevity here. And in the number one spot had to be this one. From the house of Guerlain. It's not Angelique Noir, but it's a masterpiece still. From the same line. Queer Beluga. Queer Beluga, guys, is perfect for the fall season. Everlasting flower, vanilla, and suede. Oh, it's game over. It's, it's game over. 
so sensual, so seductive, so interesting. I mean, I always want to keep smelling this. So addictive. Oh, man. Unisex through and through. All of these fragrances that I mentioned are quite unisex, and this one is one of them. And Queer Beluga is perfect for the fall season. Formal and still perfect for date scenarios. Even for the office. I mean, if you want to feel, if you are feeling a bit more bougie, this is the one to go. Oh man, this is fantastic. Had to be this one. Guerlain, it's my favorite house overall. And have to be this one. Queer Beluga from Guerlain. I have yet to try the new one. I think it's Iris Torrefier. I think that's the name. Uh, I have yet to try that one, but this is fantastic. This is my number one uh, fall fragrance in the niche side of things. Queer Beluga from the La et La Matier collection from Guerlain. It's perfect. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what are your favorite fall fragrances, what fragrances you will be wearing during this fall season. Tell me everything in the comments down below, guys, and see you in the next video. Take care. Ciao.